Is there? On Turkey, uh, over the weekend, uh, there was a uh, arrest warrant issued for 42 journalists, and just today uh, there is another warrant uh, for detainment of 47 journalists. And there are more lists are coming up, obviously. It looks like there will be hundreds more. Uh, there are about 15,000 people detained. These are official numbers. Over 60,000 people are sacked, suspended across Turkey. I was wondering, uh, first of all, your comment, and second, you mentioned last week uh, or Monday that Turkey should not take excessive actions after the coup. Do you think these actions are, uh, can be classified as excessive? Well, we also said that we're not going to uh, get into the business of characterizing every decision, every moment that it's made. I, I think I would point you back to what the Secretary has said uh, repeatedly, uh, that um, we have been nothing but strong in expressing our grave concern about the failed coup. We have been nothing but strong and candid in condemning that failed coup uh, and uh, c condemning the coup attempt, not, not the fact that it failed, obviously, and expressing our unequivocal support for the democratically elected civilian government of, of Turkey. Uh, the President himself strongly condemned the, the failed coup attempt and uh, expressed U.S. support for Turkish democratic institutions, thank Turkish authorities. Uh, for their continued support in ensuring the safety and well-being of our diplomatic missions and personnel, uh, American servicemen and women who are there, uh, and uh, civilians, our civilians throughout Turkey. Um, and of course, uh, we have urged President Erdogan to show restraint, to act within the rule of law, and to avoid actions that would lead to further violence and instability. We obviously support bringing the perpetrators uh, of the coup to justice. and. We also continue to stress the importance of upholding democratic principles and the rule of law through the process. Okay, uh, so about these journalists, uh, over 100 journalists, uh, from here, uh, do you think these many journalists can be involved with the coup? Uh, do, do you think the, this can be realistically happened? Well, look, I, um, these kinds of actions, and uh, we've talked about this in the past, our concerns over uh, press freedoms. Uh, um, I think we would see this as a continuation of what I've talked about as a troubling trend uh, in, in Turkey where official bodies, law enforcement and judicial, uh, um, uh, are being used to discourage legitimate political recourse. D I'm sorry, discourse, legitimate political discourse. I mean, we've been, I think, very consistent about that. Look, do you believe that the current Turkish government is systematically dismantling the institutions of society, including the judiciary and the press, that can serve on as a check on the powers of the executive? I think I'm going to have to point you back to what I've said here just a few minutes ago. Um, the, we're, we're not going to characterize each and every move as they occur. I'm what we've been no, talking about the I, whole thing. What we've, what we've been very consistent on is condemning the, the, the coup attempt, the attempt by military force to overthrow a democratically elected government. Um, um, I think our position was crystal clear on that um, since that night. Uh, and we've also, um, in conversations with Turkish authorities at various levels, urged uh, uh, restraint, um, a dedication to the rule of law and, and the democratic principles that, that, uh, uh, that have uh, upheld the elected government in Turkey. Uh, already. Um, but ag again, I'm not, uh, and we're obviously watching and uh, developments there, and we're staying in touch uh, with Turkish authorities. Our ambassador has been um, uh, in near constant communication with uh, 
with his counterparts in the Turkish government. Uh, and uh, uh, and I, I just don't know that, uh, you know, we're going to be able to characterize it any deeper than that. Yeah. John, um, knowing your vast knowledge about the world affairs and all, most of the dictators in history have been democratically elected. Do you feel you are still saying Turkey is still a democracy when all this purging is going on? Again, to Ginger, it, it is a democratically elected government. And it was a government uh, that at least some elements of uh, the Turkish military a attempted to overthrow. There's a, obviously an investigation going on by Turkish authorities to figure out uh, exactly what happened here and how it could happen. We, as I said at the outset, understand the need for them to be able to get their arms around uh, this failed coup and to hold the perpetrators to, to account. Now, we've said that again from, uh, you know, within the first hour or two of it happening. We've also said and continue to believe that uh, a measured, deliberate uh, approach to that, that is, that, that observes rule of law uh, and, and due process is important. And we continue to make, uh, uh, to, to make those concerns known, okay? 